Vidur College, Grade 3, Division, Part 2. Hello children, it is your teacher here. First, let's see what are you going to learn today. Today, you are going to learn how to use long division and divide by 2 when there is no remainder. Alright children, let's learn how to divide by 2 when there is no remainder. Look at the example. There are 6 apples. Separate them equally among 2 baskets. So children, when you separate those 6 apples equally among the 2 baskets, each basket will contain 3 apples. Therefore, when you divide 6 by 2, the answer is 3. Alright children, now you are going to learn how to use long division to divide by 2. Look at this example. There are 8 cookies on a plate. Divide them equally among 2 children. Children, there are four steps you should follow when dividing a number by two using long division. Step one is comparing the digits. First, you should compare the digit which you have to divide with the digit you are dividing by. So here, when you compare eight with two, you will see that eight is bigger than two. Therefore, we can divide 8 by 2. Step 2 is doing the division by using the 2 times table. First, you should find out how many 2's make 8 by using the 2 times table. You will see that 4 2's make 8. Therefore, we write 4 above 8. 8. Step 3 is to multiply 4 by 2. As you know, 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore, we write 8 under the digit that we divide. The final step is to subtract the lower digit from the upper digit. So here, when you subtract 8 from 8, you will get 0 as the answer. Therefore, when you divide 8 by 2 using the long division, the answer is 4 with no remainder. So children, those two kids will get 4 cookies each when divided equally. Ok children, shall we do another example? There are 12 toffees with me. I want to share them with my sister. How many toffees does one get? Okay children, now we are going to solve the above sum. To do that, you have to follow 4 steps. Step 1 is comparing the digits. Since we are dividing a 2 digit number, First, we need to compare the tens place digit with 2. As you can see, the tens place digit is 1. 1 is smaller than 2. Therefore, we can't divide 1 by 2. Then, we have to look at the 2 digit number we are dividing as a whole. The two digit number that we are dividing is 12. When you compare 12 with 2, you will see that 12 is bigger than 2. Therefore, we can divide 12 by 2. Step 2 is doing the division by using the 2 times table. First, you should find out how many 2's make 12 by using the 2 times table. You will see that 6 2's make 12. 
Therefore, we write 6 above the unit's place of 12. Step 3 is to multiply 6 by 2. As we know, 6 times 2 is 12. Therefore, we write 12 under the digit that we divide. The final step is to subtract the lower digit from the upper digit. First, you should subtract the units place numbers. So, when you subtract 2 from 2, the answer is 0. Then, you should subtract the tens place digits. When you subtract 1 from 1 in the tens place, you will get 0 as the answer. Therefore, when you divide 12 by 2 using the long division, the answer is 6 with no remainder. So, my sister and I will get 6 toffees each when divided equally. Alright children, this is example number 3. There are 24 marbles in a jar. Divide them equally among 2 children. To solve that sum, you should follow these steps. Step 1 is comparing the digits. Since we are dividing a 2 digit number, first we should Compare the tens place digit with 2. The tens place digit here is 2. We can divide 2 by 2 since both the digits are equal. Now children, you should follow the steps from 2 to 4 in the correct order to find the answer for the first digit. We followed those steps in the previous examples. Please refer to them. Step 5 is bringing down the units place digit. So children, you should bring down the units place digit which is 4 next to the tens place answer like this. Now children, you should follow the steps from 1 to 4 in the correct order to find the answer for the second digit. We did those steps in the previous examples. Therefore, when you divide 24 by 2 using the long division, the answer is 12 with no remainder. So, those two children will get 12 marbles each when divided equally. Okay children, now I am going to give you a small exercise. There are 6 division sums. Try to solve those sums by using the knowledge that you gained from the lesson. Okay children, now we have come to the end of our lesson. I know you learned a lot on how to divide by 2 using the long division. Until we meet again, be safe and be happy.